guys, it's Miss Christy and today's art day. Today we're going to do some reconstruction of some things you can find out in the open, such as flowers or branches and trees. So I've got two items here. I've got a nice branch that I pulled off of a tree um, and I'm just going to deconstruct it. Take all the little branches off and this guy is going to turn into a tree on my construction paper. I'm going to use some glue. That's about it. So as long as you have paper and glue and trees or flowers, this is a cool project for our kids to work on. Placing things, doing art projects, play, uh, touching the glue, um, and sitting for a little while. And also, how the flower goes put, how the flower gets put back together. How a tree looks with all the items. It's really fun. It's kind of like a Mr. Potato Head where you have the potato and then we say, okay, where do the eyeballs go? Okay, where do the ears go? So here, we're gonna take our piece of paper and for our little kids, I've already done it, you can trace out with glue the shape of the flower. For our bigger kids, you just take the items of the flower. I am missing my stem, oh there it is. Say, okay, so where does the stem of the flower go? And they can go, it probably goes right there. Have them take the glue, make the line for the stem, and have them place the stem of the flower on the piece of paper. Simple as that. So I've already got some glue on here. Looks like it's starting to dry a little bit, so I'm gonna put a little bit more, okay. Da 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 da. And so I'm gonna start recreating my flower on the construction paper. So we talk about the leaves. Where do the leaves go? They grow on the outside of the stem. And so they can pick up each leaf and place it on the paper where they think it goes. And it is okay if your child does not place the items exactly where they're supposed to go. That is a okay. So we have a stem and we have some leaves. Next comes the middle part of the flower. So the middle part of the flower, I had to smooth it down a little bit, so I just kind of peeled some of it off so it'd be a flat surface. So I'm gonna go place it right there to the glue. And then where do the petals grow from? Well, they grow from the middle of the flower. So we're just gonna place those all around. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is an art project, so they can be creative and if some of the pieces don't line up exactly where they're supposed to be, that is okay. Because sometimes we see things differently. Everyone sees things a little bit different in their mind. So your flower can look like this, or it could look like this. And that is still okay. Okay, <laughs> the glue is a little sticky trying to show you another version of a flower. Okay. So if your flower looks like this, this is okay. Because sometimes we see things a little bit differently. This is a really cool sensory project for our kids. They should have a lot of fun with this. And they get alert a little bit. <clears throat> Next I'm going to create a tree. So I'm going to get a really thick branch okay and that is gonna be the base of the tree put my glue on my piece of paper and stick him on there now this originally started out as a small branch it was on this little tree barely bigger than a couple feet tall so I just took it off <coughs> and I have a bunch of leaves now the tree is pretty easy all you have to do is put a whole bunch of glue at the top of that stem that you put on there, okay? And then you gotta just place leaves. You can ask your child, where are the leaves on the tree normally? They're at the top, that's right. And they can place them all over, making this nice tree out of the natural items you can find in your yard. 
almost done guys they can make a whole bunch of these you can make some I'm gonna put some with leaves falling on the ground because you know it is fall so this is a great time to talk about the leaves changing colors okay let's see it's good enough for now go so we have our tree it was just fun recreating that out of what we have in our backyard so I would love to see your projects guys post them send us a note you can email me at Christy at imprinttherapy.org I'd love to hear from you guys um, I will see you all next week for another art day have fun till then bye guys